Today I'm going to make some southern fried chicken and I have been on a quest for 35 years for the best recipe and I do believe this is this is the one. <laughs> this recipe uh, you brine the chicken overnight in a salt sugar water brine. The next morning you rinse it off, you put it in a buttermilk bath for four to six hours and then you dredge it in a seasoned flour. Let the chicken rest for 30 minutes so the buttermilk and flour almost become like a batter instead of a dredge. Then you fry it up in an iron skillet and let me tell you, it is moist on the inside because of the brine. The chicken's tender because of the buttermilk. It's just so delicious. Super crunchy on the outside. Oh my goodness, give this recipe a try. And I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> it's so good, you guys. In my Ziploc bags, I have chickens that have been cut up, uh, whole chickens that have been cut up, and I have them in a brine of water, sugar, and salt. And I'll put the ratios down in the description box. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it uh, brine overnight. This is the first step to getting really good fried chicken. Trust me on this one. And I put it in a bowl so it won't leak or anything. It's the next morning. I took the chicken out of the brine, rinsed it off. Now I put it in a bowl with some buttermilk. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge for four to six hours. It's been about six hours. I have some seasoned flour and I'll put uh, the ingredients that I put in my seasoned flour in the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the buttermilk soaked chicken in the flour and put it on a tray. And the key is you wanna let this sit for 30 minutes before frying the chicken. Okay, I dredged the chicken and the seasoned flour. Now I'm gonna let it rest for 30 minutes and let that flour kind of absorb that buttermilk that's still on there. And after 30 minutes, I'm gonna get it in a iron skillet with some oil and fry these chicken up. It's gonna be really good chicken. Tender, juicy on the inside. I'm frying the chicken in an iron skillet and I'm gonna turn them a couple of times till they're golden brown, and they'll kind of float a little bit as well. Just fry it up until it's nice and golden brown, and then I put it on another uh, sheet tray with the rack. That's what the chicken's gonna look like. It's nice and golden brown and really crispy on the outside, but the inside is moist and juicy because we brined it, and then the buttermilk makes the meat a little tender. It's a wonderful recipe. I hope you give it a try. It is the best fried chicken, I do believe. Just saying. Anyway, we're serving it with some potato salad and some watermelon, and I'll put the recipe link to the potato salad in the description box below. All right, guys. Now, if you want a little midnight snack, you might uh, try some of this Nashville hot chicken. You take a half a cup of the oil that you cooked the chicken in and you add all of the spices, the uh, cayenne, the brown sugar, all the things listed here. You mix it together and then you take one of the pieces of fried chicken you got left over and put a tablespoon of that oil on top and let it drizzle down the sides. Oh my goodness, it takes me back to Tennessee when we uh, went to go see the eclipse. But it is so, so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Sounds kind of kooky, but if you give it a try, you'll be, you'll be hooked. And if you wanna uh, make some hot Tennessee chicken, Sorry. I'll put the recipe in the description box for the oil, the flavored oil. You just put a tablespoon of that on there and it's so good.